A careful digging into government books shows that a numbered company was paid $135,000 by the Department of Health and Wellness last year. If you dig through a second layer of numbered companies, you'll find that the $135,000 went to a company 50% owned by the election campaign manager for the Minister of Health and Wellness. To the Minister of Health and Wellness, can you tell the people of Alberta why his department paid $135,000 to 1024226 Alberta Limited, a company half owned by his campaign manager? The Honourable Minister. I, I could only assume, Mr. Speaker, that he's referring to the uh, search that took place for the board members for Alberta Health Services, which was an open tendered competition. And I believe my recollection is the uh, winning uh, search firm that uh, was selected was a search firm out of Calgary called Boyden and uh, one of the uh, partners in that firm is a gentleman named Brent Shervey who was my campaign manager. It was an open competition and if the uh, member would like to uh, have sent over the documentation that uh, we, we have I'd be happy to supply it to him, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member. Thanks, Mr. Speaker. I'll take the Minister up on the offer, so ship me the documents. Again, to, uh, to the same Minister, what, uh, what was his personal involvement in the decision to have the Department of Health and Wellness hire his campaign manager's numbered company? Is it just coincidence that his campaign manager's company was hired, or was there political influence? The Honourable Minister. Well, uh, I can say that the competition was conducted by the uh, HR Department of Alberta Health and Wellness. Uh, at the time they did the search, uh, they uh, asked me about uh, the, the fact that this particular company had, uh, had uh, been the uh, successful bidder, and I believe the lowest bidder, Mr. Speaker, but I'll clarify that because I was not involved in the actual selection process. I was informed. And uh, I don't see why any company in this province who does business uh, should be precluded from doing business with this government if they meet all of the guidelines in the RFP, Mr. Speaker. Uh, in May 2009, the Minister of Health and Wellness told the Legislative Committee that he wasn't going to have a board of health care professionals running Alberta Health Services. Well, no kidding. The only health professional on the board is a doctor from Toronto. So again to the same minister. Did he give direction to his campaign manager to avoid recruiting to the Board of Alberta Health Services any health care professionals from Alberta, or is it just coincidence that it turned out that way? The Honourable. Um, I, I can't recall the exact uh, documentation that was provided uh, as part of the search, but it was done by our, depa our uh, HR department. And uh, I'd be more than happy to give uh, whatever is uh, not privileged information to the member, and then he can go on his witch hunt, Mr. Speaker. 